So today I'm going to share with you what I wore this week. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely am pining after summer and spring. So I pulled out some of my kind of more juicy fragrances. So I'm going to share those with you. And before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. I would love to have you part of the weird and wonderful family. And uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching these. So I wore this fragrance Sunday and Monday because I loved wearing it so much. Like seriously guys, this fragrance makes me so happy. And it is Wonderland Peony by Floral Street. Guys, I just, I, it, it, this one is just so happy. And I'll go without wearing it for quite some time and then I pull it out again and I'm just in love with it all over again. This one smells a little bit candy-esque to me. So, there's a bit of floralness to it, like obviously the peony, which is such a bright, happy, like I even love the way peonies look, like they're just such a pretty flower, except they get full of ants, which always kind of creeps me out, but they're just beautiful. Anyway, love that, love that peony fragrance, love the raspberry in here, there's a bit of uh, cotton candy, uh, there's some vetiver and cedar, so it doesn't get too sweet, too cloying. The vetiver and cedar kind of ground it, but it's just happy. Like when I smell this, the instant image that I have in my head is a kid at a carnival, which is weird because it doesn't smell like a carnival. Uh, but there is that cotton candy-esque to this. Uh, so I just think of being at this carnival. There's tons of happiness, like lots of smiles. And then you're kind of like, like I, I don't know why, but I always think about skipping, like skipping down the road. But it's not a carnival in today's society where everyone's in jeans and stuff. No, this is a carnival where there's flowers, like flower boxes everywhere. Beautiful uh, colored flowers and my guess is there's some sort of pastel eggs like laying around or maybe I've got a basket full of pastel eggs and I've got some sort of like dress from the 50s on and there's happy music playing in the background. Somehow this just puts me in such a great mood. I love this one. Now this one doesn't last too long. That said, like so I, I get about four or five hours out of this but I'll always like notice it on my clothes and stuff like so you know even after that I'll all of a sudden get a whiff of it uh, so I just really enjoy this one it's 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 maybe I don't know maybe bordering on juvenile it's nothing like groundbreaking but it's just sweet delicious and it makes me happy so I wore it twice the next one I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I've talked about it a lot lately is Scandal à Paris uh, by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now this, it's pear, it's jasmine, it's honey. It's probably better to wear this one in the spring. Uh, the pear is juicy, but kind of a bright, uh, you know, not too ripe pear. Uh, the jasmine and honey kind of makes it a little bit sexy. And I just love this one. So I enjoyed wearing it all day. The longevity on this one isn't phenomenal either, like five hours-ish. But again, it's winter, it's quite cold, so it may last better in the summer. I don't recall though. But um, yeah, really enjoyed wearing this. On Wednesday, I wore Mon Guerlain. Um, I went on a road trip uh, back to my hometown called Grand Prairie, and uh, I wore this on the ride up there. So this just smells sweet, delicious. There's that lavender in it, so I find it calming. Um, it lasted for the whole ride, which is about five hours. And um, this, this one will last, uh, I've noticed it lasts about six hours on me and that's about it. Uh, six, maybe a little bit longer than that, but it seems to last all day. It's not like it's, it's a weak performer. Uh, beautiful kind of projection on this one. And yeah, it's just beautiful. I love, love, love the lavender aspect to this, but I also really love the sweetness in this one. Uh, it just smells, it smells delicious, but cozy. And whenever I put this one on, I always think about, I, I, I always start in my like thing in this one. I start in this house, it's got stone floors. 
and it's got French glass doors that open up and then you're looking over this hill and it's a lavender field. So uh, all the lavender is blooming and you walk out there in kind of this white uh, flowy cotton dress. You've got sandals on and a big hat on and then I love like I'll plant lavender in my yard in the summertime and what I always did with my son and any any kid actually that ever comes around. I'll, I'll make adults do it too but the kids are usually more added to it is like I'll plant like um, lavender and rosemary are my two favorites and so I'll say run your hand through it so I'll take my hand and run my hand through it and then and then I'll say run your hand through it now smell your hand because it smells so fragrant like it's so beautiful so I do that with lavender rosemary I do it with thyme too I just love that like the fact that you can run your hand through the different uh, plants and smell that beautiful smell on your hand so uh, that's what this reminds me of it's just a whole scene that I see in my mind uh, someday I'd like to experience it I've been to lavender fields before uh, in the Kelowna area and they're so so beautiful so yeah Monger Lawn such a gorgeous fragrance on Thursday I wore classic essence de parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, now this one this one is mainly orange blossom. Like I get a ton of orange blossom, but then I get vanilla. There's a bit of orange in this one or tangerine, I believe. Uh, there's um, aldehydes in this one and there's ginger. So there's a spicy quality to this one. It's warm. Uh, it's quite sexy and alluring. Um, and then the orange blossom is just kind of sweet and delicate. Uh, this one I've said before reminds me of um, a gingerbread cake a little bit and I, I still think that. So I put this one on and honestly I thought to myself why don't I wear this one more because it was just so beautiful. So definitely uh, love this one. I don't think you can get it anymore though. It's really hard to come by. But uh, Classique Essence de Parfum, beautiful fragrance. Now Friday I decided again because I'm kind of wanting spring to come. I pulled out Siberian Rose by Fragrance Dubois. Now this is just a stunning fragrance. This one has pear, juniper, pink pepper, and cinnamon in the opening, and then it has tuberose, rose, leather, and ylang ylang, and the base has moss, amber, and patchouli. I get more of the tuberose and the ylang ylang than I do the rose in this one. I get that little bit of leather in this one. And to be honest, I don't get a whole lot of any of the um, top notes other than probably there is a little bit of a, a spicy quality in the opening, which is probably the pink peppers and the juniper. Um, this is such a beautiful fragrance. I think it's very feminine, although I think this one's considered unisex. Uh, it's juicy. It's sweet. Um, there's a little bit of depth to it because of that leather vibe in it. A little bit of, uh, yeah, it's, it's sweet. There's depth from that leather. Uh, it's tuberose heavy to me, more so than the rose for sure. Uh, it, but it's, to me, it feels like even though there's leather, even though there's juniper or pink pepper, uh, this one comes across very delicate to me. Uh, this is a very rich smelling fragrance. Um, it smells uh, very luxurious, so it smells luxe to me. Uh, maybe it's because I know it's a fragrance du bois, uh, but I just think it's beautiful. The only thing that I'll say about this one is that the longevity is really poor. Uh, so um, I get, like at five hours, this is fully a skin scent. Like I barely get four hours before it's fully a skin scent. And by six, I can't smell it at all. So I don't know if I go anosmic to it. If you've tried this one, let me know. It's so beautiful. I just wish that the longevity was better because for that price point, I want something to last. Uh, that said, it is such a, a luxe, delicious, uh, beautiful fragrance. And yeah, somehow this one feels delicate. Uh, delicate, feminine, um, and really, really, really rich. <laughs> I love it. Like, I really do love it. And, and this bottle is just so freaking, it's great. Like, not only is it gorgeous, but you could definitely use this as a weapon. Like, this is, is a solid chunk of awesomeness. <laughs> 
Okay, now the last fragrance I wore, which was on Saturday, was Versace's Crystal Noir. This one I... See, I love smelling it off the cap. So this one has pepper in it. I think it's black pepper. Uh, there's coconut in this one. It smells cold. It smells aloof. I've said before, it smells like a female assassin. Like I just imagine someone like Angelina Jolie, but not really her, because I don't think that she smells aloof. <laughs> As if I even remotely know what Angelina Jolie smells like, but like thinking about her personas in movies, like Laura Croft, for instance. Ah, Laura Croft would maybe smell like this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I digress. So, so this <laughs> smells like an assassin. She's gorgeous. She wears leather, then she zips it off and has a beautiful gown on underneath. Uh, you know, she's the kind of girl that women just look at and they just stop dead in their tracks. Like they'll be talking. They've got a glass of champagne in their hand. They're wearing a tuxedo. And she walks by and the conversation just stops and they, they follow her. She's super confident. That's the woman that wears this. And then she can stab you in the back. Like she'll do the tango with you and then she will kill you. Uh, for sure. Like this woman has no feelings whatsoever. Like she, she doesn't, she's not sentimental. She uh, isn't warm and fuzzy. She's, she's a little bit nasty. Uh, you know, she has resting bee face. Like, that's the kind of chick that this one is. But, like, so I love the smell of it. But it's not me. Like, I'm not... I'm not that girl. Like, I'm not an assassin. <laughs> like, to be dumb, but... Like, this persona that this gives me, this vibe, I'm never gonna be here. Like, if I wear a leather jacket, like, I look kind of dumpy in them. It doesn't suit me at all. I do ride a motorbike. I have worn leather. Uh, I know how to shoot guns, and I can throw a knife pretty good, but I, it's just not my vibe. Like, I'm not mean. I'm not cold and aloof. Like, I'm the furthest thing from cold and aloof. Sometimes I wish I was cold and aloof, but this fragrance, I just don't enjoy when I wear it. It smells slightly clean. It smells slightly soapy to me somehow. Uh, yeah, so I, I do enjoy smelling it, and I don't really want to get rid of it because I keep on hoping that I'll love it, but really, it's just not doing it for me. It doesn't suit my personality, so I may have to part with this one. But I know lots of women really enjoy this one, and if you wear this, don't be insulted that I think it's made for an assassin and that I don't like it, like wearing it on me, because um, I know that if I smelt this on someone, I'd really enjoy it. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know if I'll keep it, but. So I didn't enjoy wearing this. Long story to say I didn't enjoy wearing this one. <laughs> but I enjoy the scenario that it brings up. So like maybe I'll keep it just for that. So that's it. Those were the fragrances I wore this week. No experimentation really. Um, yeah, next week I've got a couple new ones I'm really excited to try. And then I want to go test a few fragrances out again, um, especially... Uh, the Lancôme La Vie Belle Le Clat. I really want to try that one. And yeah, I'm just trying to decide what I want to get for my birthday. Uh, I really think I want to get uh, Scandal by Night. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'll do. But anyway, uh, that's for another day. I'm just kind of just verbal diarying now. Like I'm just basically chatting with you guys now. Uh, sometimes I, I need to chat and you guys get to listen to my blithering. So <laughs> anyway, what was your standout fragrance for the week? What was my standout fragrance? You know, I'm going to have to give it to Floral Street. Uh, loved wearing this one so much that I wore it two days in a row. So it has to be the standout. Honestly, really, really enjoyed wearing this on Friday as well. Uh, like I just kept getting these beautiful whiffs of it for the time that it lasted. So that's the only problem with this one. But uh, yeah, all in all, pretty great week. And yeah, so tell me what your standout was. I want to know. And other than that, have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.